It's Friday, time for another weekly update. Knox County is following the state and offering COVID-19 vaccines to everyone 16 and older. You can go to covid19.tn.gov for information about eligibility and vaccination sites. Knox County Schools is seeking the public's help after receiving several complaints about a suspicious individual approaching students at some of our schools and bus stops. The man drives a red Thunderbird, possibly a 1992 model, with the paint peeling off the hood and a dent in the driver's side door. The driver is described as an older white man with gray hair and facial hair. If you see this car, please try to get the tag number if you can and report it to 911. This is also a good time to remind everyone to have a conversation with your kids about personal safety. In case you missed it this past summer, the Knox County Regional Forensic Center has once again received full accreditation from the National Association of Medical Examiners. Big thanks to the Forensic Center for their work during the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as all their work with the substance misuse epidemic. The Knox County Regional Forensic Center is the medical examiner for Knox and Anderson counties and also serves 21 other counties in Tennessee. The Olympic torch rally began in Fukushima Thursday on its 121 day journey to Tokyo and the opening of the Olympic games. Finally, Knoxville Catalyst Sports is hitting the trails this weekend for its first ever adaptive mountain biking event on Sharps Ridge. To learn more, go to their website, catalystsports.org. Until next Friday, I hope everyone has a great week.